Mm. Mm. Yummo. Is there a better feeling than cooking an enormous batch of something and then just knowing that you will have something delicious and nutritious in the fridge for the rest of the week. I just made this potato soup with um, mushrooms and lentils and more onion than what's reasonable. And I've topped it up with some arugula, some kimchi and mustard because you guys know that I am a mustard kimchi addict. This is so delicious, just the perfect comfort food. We'll have this for dinner the upcoming week. Let me show you guys what else we're having on our meal plan. So it's probably Thursday by the time this video is up, so it will be more like inspo for the next week if you guys need it. Both me and David are so happy with the way we've been eating ever since we came to Berlin. Our bodies just work at their best with this kind of food in them. Most of the food that I will be showing you in this video have recipes on the blog already. Uh, so have a look out for this little alert button. When that shows up, you'll know that there's a recipe on the blog. And if you're new around here, subscribe to make sure to catch my next video and give me a thumbs up if you feel like you want more meal plan videos or more food videos in general. Okay, let's take a look what's on the menu this week. We eat basically the same thing from Monday to Thursday every week. Like mentioned, this week we'll have this potato soup for dinner every night. Soups, juice, congee and stuff like that are definitely our favorites to eat on weeknights since they're so yummy and comforting at the same time as being so nutritious and good for the digestion. They're easy to cook and to store and not to mention hella cheap as well for all of you guys who are eating on a budget. For breakfast, I'll have my favorite summery early morning dish. A bowl of berries, fruits, some plant milk and other stuff. At the moment I'm into a mix of rice and soy milk but this homemade oat milk is lovely too. It's a completely refreshing start to the day, it wakes me up without making me heavy or sluggish. It will do the trick to get me through till lunch for sure. Speaking of, lunch every weekday this week will be smoothie bowls. I'll top mine with chocolate granola and kiwi. There are so many different yummy smoothies out there, all with their own properties, but our favorite right now is a banana, mixed berries and spinach smoothie, with added turmeric, black pepper and cayenne of course, nutrient packed to the max. Again, this will fill us up and energize us without making us tired or sluggish. We snack in between meals and with our evening cup of tea. I find it to be a great way of keeping my energy levels up and preventing me from being too hungry and overeating at the main meals, which isn't so good for the digestion. Some of our favorite snacks are rice cakes or corn cakes, granola, fresh or dried fruits, raw veggies and crisp bread, with bucket loads of tea of course. Even though this is our meal plan for weekdays, it will usually get messed up one or two nights, since there are a lot of events here in Berlin, like every night almost if you feel like it which will make our dinner plans a bit random. On Fridays, we'll usually eat the same breakfast and lunch as the other weekdays, but like to spruce things up a bit at night. You might know that we especially love food from Southeast Asian cuisines and the same goes for movies, so on Fridays we like making it a theme night. This week the theme is South Korea, so we'll have a Korea-inspired dinner and watch a Korean thriller probably. Gotta love those. What we have on Korean nights are usually something like this, rice bowls with all them veggies, tofu, mushrooms and more kimchi than we can handle almost. Yum! Saturdays are the days that we go all in for yumminess and treating ourselves. There's usually an event or two, an event can mean anything from a 9 course fancy dinner with great vegan food to getting absolutely nothing. Well, except for champagne that is. In that case, we'll have a late night dinner when we get back home, usually with tofu, because hey, tofu. In either case, we'll always shout down some bananas or rice cakes before we go to make sure that that champagne has some company in our bellies. If we're not going to any events, we'll either go out having some Vietnamese food or stay at home and make a proper homemade meal. We'll also have some chocolate or other healthy dessert, usually. Whatever and wherever we eat, we opt for a bit of luxury food-wise on Saturdays. And they're usually quite spontaneous, so we haven't really decided yet what we'll go for this week. These are our health days. We try to get both some well-needed relaxation and nutrition into our bodies. This usually means a hearty bowl of grains and legumes or a deluxe salad. 
In the morning, we're shooting our Sunday breakfast video this week, so we'll have something yummy. I'm in the mood for a nut and fruit salad, but we'll see what we'll like further on. On Sundays, we eat dinner quite early, so a big breakfast and some good old snacking will get us through till dinner time. Like I said, most of the recipes are on the blog already, check the link below and give me a thumbs up if you want me to do more of these meal plan videos or let me know in the comments, of course. Also, if you want to have more like daily updates on what I'm eating, check me out on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Okie dokie guys, I'm gonna go now because I need to grab myself another bowl of this yummy potato soup. See you!